So if you see the weights on my legs, the ankle weights, the, the right leg has got a lighter, it's got half a kilo, this one's got a full kilo. That's because my right leg is stronger and left wing is weaker. So I'm trying to balance out the muscles. So w w once your leg starts moving and you can start, you can swing it like this, put some ankle weights on, you know, start, start light. And once you can do it, add more weight. This is how you increase the muscle mass on something that's not really working at well. This is exercise. This is good for anyone in a wheelchair, you know, just this, you have to do something. You can't just sit there and tell yourself you can't do it because the doctor told you. That is the worst thing you can do. That's the absolute worst thing you can do. Tell yourself, oh, but the doctor told me I will never walk again. Oh, but the, uh, the x-ray showed my, my spine is broken. I've got no signal. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> Don't do stupid things like that. Just, this is how you, you should treat this situation. What do you want in your life? For me, I want to walk. That's all I care about. So everything I do is towards that goal. And anything else that doesn't fit that narrative, I block out from my mind. When the doctors tell me <laughs> my brain's missing, the part that controls everything. So I was paralyzed for months. I ignored the guy. I blocked him out. And at every hospital, I went, I've, I've been to three hospitals. At every hospital, the first thing the physio asks is, what is your goal? My second hospital, I was completely paralyzed. He asked me, what's my goal? I told him my goal is to scratch my own face. I knew I couldn't walk out of there, but that's what I did. So, you know, got my arms started to work and I was able to scratch my face. The third hospital, the, 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 the physio asked him, what's your goal? I said, to walk out of this hospital. And everyone there was thinking, nah, this guy's crazy, it can't be done. The doctors basically told me that at my first family meeting. He goes, Tom, I know you're cold. But in the most indirect way, he told me, you're not walking out of here. And I ignored the guy. I loved the guy, but I ignored him. I, I used that as motivation. I'm going to prove you wrong. And I proved him wrong. I walked out of the hospital. And recovery is, is a mind game. It's not a physical game. You're thinking... Your body's, no, no, it, it's a mind game. If you get your mind in the right position, the, the way it's supposed to operate, then you can do amazing things. From full quadriplegia, I can walk now. <laughs> I, sure, I don't have a spinal injury. <laughs> my brain was, part of my brain was removed. That's why I was left with full quadriplegia. And then people think, ah, oh, but you don't have a spinal injury. You know, I've got a spinal injury. Hey, if the, if the control has been removed, I can't, I'm not supposed to be able to move anything at all. But I, I forced it. You know, when I couldn't move it, I, I forced it out. It took me over a month to move my arm. And this is how everything started with my right arm. And because I, my brain was, everything was done right, I, I only focused to what, what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was heal, to recover and walk. And everything I did was towards that. Even now, almost seven years later, at the moment I'm doing five hours of exercise a day, seven days a week. Uh, I adjusted with how I feel, you know, how much pain the muscles are in. But, <laughs> For, for almost seven years, I exercise every single day. Not because I like exercise, I don't like exercise, but I want to heal, I want to walk, I want to get rid of that wheelchair. So I'll do whatever I have to do. And there's a lot of people, a lot of you out there, I'm, I'm doing this mostly for you guys, you know. Uh, I'm happy just to do my exercise alone, but I'm trying to show people what's possible if you don't give up, if you just keep on fighting. People like Eric, um, people like the new girl on TikTok, MX Brad, I think. This is what you need to do, you gotta keep on fighting. Exercise every single day until you, until you get out of this wheelchair. And don't ever tell yourself, I can't be done. 
the worst, the worst word in your vocabulary at the moment is can't, can't, cannot. Or the doctor told me those are the worst things you can do. You cannot. Don't listen to stuff that doesn't fit your narrative. Don't listen to stuff you know when doctors tell you you you'll never walk again. Just don't do it. What do you want? If you want to walk, then you do you do things to to make that happen. Don't ever ever tell yourself it can't be done.、Um, if you tell yourself it can't be done, you're in big big trouble. <laughs> you will never exercise and you will never walk.